We're going for a quick trip to the barber tomorrow, Rose. That bristly mat on the top of your head won't do. Rose? Mary Rose, to whom do you think I am speaking? Um, yes, we can go after church on Sunday. No, Mary Rose, everything is closed on Sundays, of course. You know, sometimes I wonder if you ever use that mind of yours. Yes, Mother. Did you tidy up your room? No, not yet. And when are you planning on having that done when we have guests over and you are scrambling to hide your mess? I can clean it tomorrow morning. Oh, and the tailor. Have you been to the tailor yet? He needs to measure you. I paid good money for a new dress. You know, sometimes I wonder what you do with all the things I buy for you. You always manage to destroy them so quickly. Best teller in town, and he just so happens to live across the street, and you can't even go in for a measuring. I'll be going tomorrow. Tomorrow, really? Aren't you tidying your room tomorrow? It is a beautiful dress with little blue flowers over the left breast. They are beautiful details. We've been working on it for weeks, and you can't make time for it. I slave over you. You really do. I don't like him. <sighs> don't be ridiculous. He's the best we know, and we can barely afford it. You need a new dress. But I like this dress. Well, it's not about if you like it or not. It is simply something you must do. I don't care what you think of him. your room tonight and tomorrow early, you can walk to the tailor. Your father's friends might be stopping by tonight. I do not want the place looking like a pigsty. Busy at the moment? Mother, he... It's right behind you. What? Truly, Mary Rose, your mind is just so out of joint with what is going on around you. Mother, shut around! Thank you. 